Pastor Ben Lawson here from Calvary Chapel of the Sand Hills in Aberdeen, North Carolina. I'm asking the Calvary Chapels to have disaster teams to come here to love on people, to show them the love of Christ, to pray with them. If I fall down, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> you ain't going to fall. Yeah, but I'm old, dude. Huh? You're how old? 23. 23, and I'm 67. <laughs> you got the same age as my grandpa. Really? But I, when you came out there, man, something spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me. I said, talk to him. That once he forgives you your sins, you're forgiven. Past, present, and future. Forgive me, Lord. It's done. Would you like to know you're going to heaven? Yes, sir. So, I'm going to pray for you, okay? Okay. Father, we just come before you, Lord, and thank you for... Uh, Nicholas, and thank you, God, that you we run into each other like this. And I just ask God that that you just forgive Nicholas and Nicholas. that he has now received you. And so, thank you for your salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Love you, brother. Many get saved in situations like this, but right now we need to help the helpless in Jesus' name. Pastor Nick Call here from Calvary Chapel, Wilmington. Hurricane Florence dealt our city a, a tremendous blow. We're out here serving our community. We need your help, and you can help in a variety of ways. Uh, you know, first you can pray, and then the second way you can help us is by actually sending a work team down. And then the third way that you can help us out is by uh, giving financially, and, and all of the uh, donations that come in, 100% of it will go back, right back into our community to help rebuild. I'm Pastor Greg Schmidt. Greetings from Calvary Chapel of Jacksonville, North Carolina. And we have families who have uh, are hurting and have some real needs. And if you want to get involved, we're looking forward to meeting you and working together to be the hands and feet of Jesus. We want to start some reconstruction efforts. At that point, we will also need more skilled people. But it doesn't mean because you're not skilled that we can't use you. God is faithful. If you step out to help, we got the jobs to do. We just need the willing servants.